What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bite for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Last week was a beast with all the Apple leaks from the HomePod firmware release, but guess what? It's the gift that keeps on giving. Now let's start with the iPhone 8 because everyone wants more iPhone goodies. I know you do. iHelpBR has uncovered new code that suggests the iPhone will be able to scan your face even while the device is laying flat. An earlier Bloomberg report claimed the facial recognition system would be more nuanced, capturing more data points compared to Touch ID, and could operate beyond simply scanning faces head on. Now your smartphone could be unlocked even when it's at an odd angle with Apple's new face unlock. A tweet by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman says Apple will pitch Face ID as being quicker, more secure, and more accurate than Touch ID, and people inside Apple say it is. Now, the facial recognition system will likely work also with Apple Pay, with references for Pearl resting inside the payment verification data. Pearl refers to Pearl ID, which is the code name for Apple's facial recognition system. I help BR has also found that the iPhone 8 may record 4K video at 60 frames per second for both the front and rear cameras. The current iPhone 7's rear camera records 4K at 30 frames per second, and the front-facing camera is limited to 1080p right now. Gilherm Rambo discovered a new smart camera feature that suggests the new iPhone can auto-detect different types of scenes, conditions, or things, such as fireworks, foliage, pets, sports, the sky, or snow. There's also a freeze motion feature to recognize a fast moving target and capture a photo at an ideal moment. And we know with these phones these days, it's all about the camera. And for the 426 of you in last week's comments who thought Apple leaked this on purpose, do you still really think that? Because come on, they didn't. There is no way they leaked all of this on purpose. Just no way. All right, we can always count on Foxconn for even more iPhone goodies. An employee has allegedly taken photos of the new iPhone's internals that were posted on social media site Weibo. You see that large black spot in the center? Yeah, that represents the iPhone's wireless charging coil, and we've been expecting that as one of its long rumored features. And remember, the Palm Pre way, way back in like 2009, that was one of the first phones with wireless charging. This is expected to be Apple's first eight years later. All right, KGI's Ming-Chi Kuo reports that all 2017 iPhones will come in only three colors, black, silver, and gold. That also matches up with a recent iPhone dummy model leak. Kuo also believes all phones will be announced together in September, and Apple will launch them all on the same date, based on his knowledge of the mass production starting in mid-September, with the iPhone 8 being extremely limited at first. Other reports claim the new iPhone 8 launch could be delayed until October, November, but we'll have to wait and find out. All right, enough about the iPhone for now. Let's talk about Apple TV. A reference to a 4K HDR display mode in the HomePod's firmware backs up rumors that Apple has been testing a 4K fifth generation Apple TV. Yelherm Rambo also found strings that could indicate support for both Dolby Vision and HDR10. Apple recently listed select movies from iTunes as 4K and HDR in the iTunes history in Canada and the UK. Now the movies are still only playing in SD or 1080p, but it could be another sign that they're preparing to drop a new Apple TV on us this year. And the man of really the past week, Stephen Trout Smith, tweeted screenshots of Apple's tvOS simulator running in 4K with a screen resolution running at 3840 by 2160. There is no clear launch date, but come on, Apple, you got to get this out in time for the holiday season. All right, a Bloomberg story over the weekend reports Apple is planning to release an LTE version of the Apple Watch later this year that will reduce its dependence on the iPhone. The report says Intel will supply the new modems for the Series 3 watch, and Apple is already in talks with carriers in the US and Europe about offering the cellular version. Gizmo is the internal code name for the Series 3 Apple Watch, and developer Jeffrey Grossman even found references to Gizmo in the HomePod firmware that refers to the cellular radio reportedly supplied by Intel. Now, reports claimed Apple had planned to release this LTE version of the watch last year, but chose to hold off on it due to battery issues. Apple is still working on ways to improve the battery life, and they really have no choice to make this the independent watch we've been waiting for. And before we go, we had so much stuff to get through last week, we didn't want to forget to pay our respects to the iPod Nano and the iPod Shuffle. You see, Apple removed the two from its website and online store and confirmed the media players had been discontinued, so we wanted to take a moment to remember them.
<laughs> okay. It reminds me though that I still have my original iPod and it still works like a charm. Like this guy right here, this is a collector's item. Oh crap, okay. Well, that's gonna do it for this week's show. You know what, you can email us at the at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we will catch you all next time for another bite of the apple. Oh crap, okay. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Did it just snap apart? No. <laughs> it's not funny, man. This is like a collector's item, dude. Oh. Sucks.